eternity alone for another minute with you. Finally, something we agree on. Return to recreation areas at this time. Summer, you're gonna go cross-eyed if you keep staring at that thing. It's just so, like, the ones on the outside keep trying to get away, but the strings pull them back, and... Hey, Squid. Jadis, why do you call her that? June Ika? Ika? Japanese again? If CT Control finds out you've been studying a foreign language, you're gonna get us all purged. Not studying, just learning. Same thing, genius. How CD? My heart is filled with one emotion. An, An endless love of civic devotion. devotion. Hey guys, look, I'm sciencing. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that sciencing is not a real word. These things are so cool. They're like little atoms. Atoms? Forget it. He's rolling. Never trust an atom. They make up everything. Oh no, I lost an electron. What am I going to do? Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Would you zip it? We're never going to get this stupid thing done with your not funny stand-up routine going on over there. But I'm sitting down. Just chill, Jeremy. We're making progress, one piece at a time. Yo. 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 Did you fall asleep in civic devotion again today? Sorry to disappoint, but once again, I did nothing to get myself purged. It's almost time. Line up, everyone. The word of the caretaker is food for your soul. The caretaker sees all. The caretaker knows all. The caretaker is all. Now hold up your lifelines and profess your commitment. Upon this chain that gives me life, I pledge to live and do what's right. Should I fail this promise to make, the caretaker my soul may take. Hey, Melania! Not a step closer. Say it. Tell me the code. Butter chicken, butter chicken, butter chicken. Butter chicken, butter chicken, butter chicken. Okay. Are you happy that I haven't been replaced by an alien replicant? You can never be too safe. I'm not sure I agree. The caretaker is hiding something. I have a theory that the aliens- So check this out. I just used my credits to download the new song by GU3. Get that away from me. Now what? Song comes emit radiation. That's how they start to get into our brains. Okay, that's crazy. Even for you. Come on, this is a great song. No, thank you. I'm just gonna... Come on, Millennia. I love GU3! What are you gonna get with your credits? Same thing I get every quarter. Butter chicken! Butter chicken! Butter chicken! What about you? I already used them. For what? I just downloaded the new GU3 song. GU3? Hmm. I always thought it was pronounced Guthrie. You want to hear it? Heck yeah. Play GU3. Play GU3. Awesome music, man. Rock on. I can't believe I forgot to put in the batteries. I love you three. 
caretaker requests that all residents of the zone report suspicious behavior immediately. Failure to report infractions will lead to penalties up to and including being purged. A scheming neighbor is not your friend. Even suggestions of anti-civil thoughts must be directed to the nearest enforcer. Preserve the peace that the caretaker has given you. Possession of illegal property is an offense against the caretaker. Prepare to be purged. What? No, I... <laughs> Classic. You're such a sucker. CJ, that's not even funny. What the heck? Scarlet saw you chasing Millennia and gave me a heads up. Is that a legit enforcer mask? One of those clowns left it on a table in the officer's cafeteria, and I was just passing by, so I decided to uh, borrow it. You are a legend. You're going to be a purge legend if you get caught with this. I'm not afraid of Captain CT and his goon squad. This mask is just the newest addition to my growing collection of fanatic Republic memorabilia. Tell her about our, you know. Oh yeah. Scarlet and I made another little excursion. Outside the zone? Uh-huh. CJ, you have to be careful. They'll purge anyone you've ever talked to if they find out you left the zone. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Plus, I brought you back another souvenir. The book! CJ's connection can get anything. Not here. Keep it someplace safe and private. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that what she really said? Yeah, she said that. Whoa. Chinika! Oh, hey guys. We're on our way to register for conformity camp. Would you like to join us? Wait, I thought we were going swimming. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to register eventually. But I, there's this. Spit it out already. I want to show you guys something. You got there. Jeez, you scared me. Hey, Rowan, want some cheese? No, thanks. So, I was looking around in my locker for my sandwich I put in there a week ago, and I found this. Is that a restricted book? Are you crazy? I swear, I have no idea where it came from. You better find out and send it back before someone sees you with it. Yeah, I know. I have to admit, though. I kind of want to read this book. It seems interesting. Okay, now I know you're crazy. Well, I'm not gonna be around when you go down. Come on, Cole. Are you sure you don't want any cheese? But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid art, far more fair than she. Who, what are you? I've never seen anything like you before. You're human, but different. I've never seen you before. But... I know you. Why is your lifeline green? Why is your hair so long? CJ told me stories from outside the zone, but I didn't believe them. Cole told me stuff, but I thought he was joking around. Are, Are you, you a... a... girl? Boy? This is a lockdown drill. Please return to your lockdown stations immediately. Anyone not at your station in three minutes will be penalized. There's no such thing. For once, I agree with Jadis. We are all the same. Each of us was made under the watchful eye of the caretaker. Our life force comes from the chains on our wrists. That's why they're called lifelines. 
Oh! Lifelines are purple. All of them. There are no green ones, and there are no boys. This is what he looks like. He? What does that even mean? Oh! This really, truly is amazing, Junica. You're so talented. You have the hand and imagination of a true artist. I knew it! I knew girdles were real! It's girl, you doorknob, not girdle. This really is a remarkable story, but how certain are you that this wasn't a hallucination or a dream? It's true. I don't know who she is or where she is, but she is as real as you or me. Rowan, tell us the story again, but don't leave out any details. What did she smell like? What is wrong with you? I need to find her again. Maybe you should go to the place where it first happened. That's exactly what I was thinking about. You can't go in. What do you mean? Why not? The door is locked. <laughs> I don't think so. I was in there earlier today. The door is locked. You should leave. Now. Uh, what's going on? Busted water pipe. Water spraying everywhere. Really? Really. You should leave. Now. Junica. CJ! Dang it, Scarlet! I told you to stand a lookout! I know, but I love watching you work. You're a master. Well, Junica, now you've seen our little afternoon art party. You want to join us? Uh, no thanks. I'm okay with not getting purged today. You sure? It'd be more the merrier. I really feel like being alone right now. When I want to be alone, I go to the garbage room. You want me to show you? Thanks, but I have my own secret space I go to sometimes. Suit yourself. CJ, be careful. Seriously, if you guys get caught... Scarlet, are you planning on getting caught? I'd like to see them try. I've got a million and one tricks that they're too dumb to figure out. We'll be all right. Junica! That's not fair. I don't know your name. Rowan. Your name is Rowan. How did you know about my secret space? I didn't. This is my secret space. Are we even in the same place? <laughs> ah! It doesn't look like it. Maybe we're in different worlds. I live in the zone. I've never been outside it. The place I live is also called the zone. 
My world and everyone in it was made by the caretaker. My world is perfect because the caretaker cannot make any mistakes. That's what we say here too. Rowan, are there girls in your world? No. Are there boys in yours? No, you're the first one I've met. Most people here believe that girls are a myth. So why can we see each other? You've got to find a way to cross over to each other's world. I don't know how, but if anyone does, it would be the, the caretaker. caretaker. <laughs> for you. That is why it pains me to say that two of you have betrayed me and will pay the ultimate price. Their lifelines will be removed and they will be purged. The betrayers are CJ and Scarlet. Your sentences will be carried out immediately. My justice is as swift as my love. Have you guys ever seen The Caretaker? Dude, like three times every day on the vid screen. No, I mean face to face. In person. You know, I have a really vague memory from when I was really little. I was in the incubator and I just opened my eyes and The Caretaker was just there, just watching us. A dream. The only ones who see The Caretaker face to face are the ones who get purged. I need to find him. chicken thing? No need. I bought this from Underground Market. It's a foolproof replicant detector. Okay, it's you. Melania, you know a lot about stuff in the zone, right? If you mean the secret plans of the cafeteria ladies to take over the world by making us eat poison vegetables, yeah, I know a thing or two. If someone wanted to say, meet the caretaker, how would they do it? You're kidding, right? You can just talk to the caretaker. It's important. It's impossible. Where in the zone is the caretaker? Who knows? Some sources in my network say that the caretaker lives outside the zone, in an area that can only be reached by a secret tunnel. The entrance is guarded by sentinels 24-7. The entrance? Where is it? I don't know, but I've heard some rumors that it's in Sector B. The research facility? I know where that is. Millennia, you're the best. caretaker. Please, it's very important. I think I found another world. One with boys. Lilies! Boys are a myth. An urban legend. Waste my time no more. Jenica, are you alright?
dare enter my sanctum? I'm very sorry. I meant no disrespect. Approach. Explain yourself. Something's happening. I was wondering if maybe you could help me figure it out. I keep seeing this girl. This boy. Can you help me find her? Can you help me cross over to his world? Or am I losing it? Is there something wrong with me? My child, there is nothing wrong with you. You are not going crazy. What you have seen is real. It must have been a terrible shock. For this reason, I forgive your trespassing here. I knew it. He's real. Can you do it? Can you bring us together? Never. You must forget this other world. You must stop trying to get there. You must never speak of it again. The portal was never meant to be opened. It is extremely dangerous. To cross to the other side is to bring about the end of reality as we know it. I will ensure the portal opens no more. Soon you will forget it ever existed. But... Silence! Go back to your existence. Be grateful for my compassion. Well now, that will never do. We can't have a mess on the floor. A tidy limbo is a good limbo, I always say. Unta, Unta. Take care of this, please. Here, pick a number. What is this place? What are we doing here? Oh, dearie me, where are my manners? Oh, there they are. Get back to work. Well, I haven't received your paperwork yet, but just by looking at you, I have a pretty good idea of your predicament. You must be a boy and you're a girl. No. Uh, actually. Do I need to check? No. Now, obviously, you can see you and you can see you, and that ain't supposed to be. OCT must have figured out and sent you here before they find out. Who? Aziraphale and Celeste, of course. It's a long story. Luckily for you, we've got eternity. Aziraphale and Celeste are what you might call supreme beings. You mean like gods? No, that's part of the problem. You see, they've been here a lot longer than me, and I've been here forever. Throughout the ages, Every time they made contact with humans, they've gotten mistaken for angels or gods or aliens. 
Azurfo once got mistaken for a Sasquatch. So what are supreme beings? They are who they are, just like you and me and anyone else. They don't fit under any nice neat labels. So what does this have to do with us? Here's the thing. Azurfo and Celeste are kind of like siblings. Brother and sister, and they fought like brother and sister. Until one day, they couldn't stand each other anymore and ripped off their lifelines. Wouldn't that kill them? Nah, that's one of the perks of being a supreme being, I guess. But, there was one major whoopsie daisy. Removing their lifelines didn't just separate them from each other. It ripped apart the universe. It pulled the boys away from the girls and put them each in their own dimension. Boys with Aziraphale, and girls with Celeste. You mean boys and girls used to be together? Boys, girls, and everyone in between. But now, Aziraphale and Celeste each got their own little kingdom. This place we are now is in between the two. It's where they meet if they absolutely have to hash something out. It's where they came up with the idea of the caretaker. What? They were sick of dealing with humans, so they created a caretaker that exists on both sides of the fence to deal with annoying details like raising humanity. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but what does this have to do with us? Well, that is the question of the week now, isn't it? The two dimensions are completely separated. There is no way for one person from one side to see another person from the other side. Unless the microplasm ions became inverted during installation and the quark factor reacted to the reverse bipolarity. <gasps> That's it! What's it? The old cyborg screwed up. He must have switched your lifelines. But then I would have a green one. And I would have a purple one. Uta, Lunta. <laughs> Bring me a rag from each dimension. <laughs> Lunta, did I say paper towel? I knew it! CT knew the Supreme Beings would go ballistic, so he painted over your lifelines. If somehow you two were to get together anywhere other than here or the caretaker's sanctum, the two dimensions would go crashing back together, and so would Aziraphale and Celeste and they would be stuck with each other for eternity. Let me in. We need to talk. Yes, sir. Right away. Let me in. We need to talk. Yes, ma'am. Right away. This is your fault! You were supposed to be keeping an eye on the caretaker! I watched him last century. It's your turn. I saw the girl poking through her dimensional barrier. And I saw the boy doing the same. Wait! They're here? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Maybe the caretaker's doing a better job than we thought. Sending them here was a brilliant idea. As long as both of them are in the void, everything is just fine. What are you talking about, you fool? This is limbo, where nothing has a beginning or an end. These two are a problem and they need to end. Oh, there you go again. You always think you know better than me. Most one-celled organisms know better than you. You would know since they're the only living creatures that can stand being close to you. If that's the case, it's only because after 7,000 years I still can't get your stink off me. You should be so lucky. My musk is the essence of life. If your definition of life is a bunch of rotting zombies swimming in a storage tank, you should be thanking me. I'm the one who came up with the idea of the caretaker in the first place. Which is exactly why we're in this situation. Everything you do screws up eventually. You went to go get the rags. And the shape um, which way also did you go? my idea. Apparently, the caretaker has been making excellent use of the shapeshifter. Yeah, and look how that worked out. If you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. That implies actually doing something, you lazy bag of bricks. I do more every day than you've done in the last five centuries. Name one. Name one thing that you've done today. You mean other than dropping an entire bucket of shade all over you? Thank you.
you're right. Why? It's just a hunch. But I trust my hunches. Then so do I. As one in one you enter in, only two can ever win. Now it seems your end is started, unless you shout the words of parting. Quote the bard and do it fast, or else this moment will be your last. What was that? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Something about parting and quoting the bard. The book, the one from my locker. The bard is a nickname for the guy that wrote it. Uh, there was also something about parting, about saying goodbye. I remember. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I'll say goodnight until tonight becomes tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night. It's no worth Try again. Good night, good night, good night. It's no good. You try. Good night, good night, good night. We have to say it together. Good night, good night, good night. Darkest of dreams, step the things, things that you that fear. fear. In sleep, In sleep they, were they were far, but awake. But awake. They're right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Darkest of dreams. When I was a little kid, I used to have these terrible nightmares. Bad ones. There were these creatures. I had the same dream. They could change shapes, but in their truest form, they were terrifying. At least we're not locked in here. Come on, let's go. over and help me up. Okay, three, two, one. Junica? Is there a rope or something you can throw down? Junica? God, you made it. I thought those things were gonna get you. Who are you? Where's Junica? My name is Tina. I've been trapped in this maze forever. Junica had a hunch about the exit and went that way to check it out. Oh, okay. She's never gonna find it. I've looked 
everywhere. She was actually kind of rude, just went off on her own. What? I know, right? You know, you seem pretty cool. The last thing I would do is leave you alone like that. I guess you can never really know people. You're wrong. I haven't known her for very long, but I feel like I know her as I know myself, and she would never do that. of you anymore. Rowan, thanks for believing in me. Rowan, the exit! And so, and so is, is too, too. You, you reach the, reach the end. end. But now but your now fortune, fortune you must spend. The, the ties that bind must come undone. undone. For, through For through here may here pass, may pass only, only one. Wait, come back. What do you mean through here may pass only one? We've come this far together and we're not going to finish alone. must come undone. What? She said the ties that bind must come undone. I think I know what that means. There's only one way for us to be together. There's only one way for our worlds to be together. Junica, no! If you take your lifeline off, you'll die. Rowan, if I don't take it off, Never live. Junica! 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 Come back! Please! Junica! Come back! Please! Yay, noise, and I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. There rust, and let me die. Why did the electron leave the atom? Mm. I don't know. Because it had its eye on someone else. <laughs> I don't get it. They must have been purged. It's possible, but the fact remains that the caretaker has disappeared. There haven't been any purges in over a month. Hey, everybody, check this out. I found this in Rowan's locker.
What does the writing say? Love is the place where we... Wait, I, I totally forgot. I found this in Judica's locker. Love is the place where we intersect. We were in limbo. I was, I was kicking, kicking your butt. butt. And then an explosion. While well, you were throwing lame insults, the boy and girl must have escaped. That means they must have. No! They couldn't have! They both removed their lifelines in limbo! And that means that the dimensions are no longer separate! And that means neither are we! No, no, get away no, from me. Okay. Believe me, I'm trying. We broke them once, we can do it again. It's not working this time. No, 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 no. Thank you.